wanted to make a quick video to talk about using Mega Squirt, uh, in my case Micro Squirt, but anything coupled with Tuner Studio to program on-off outputs for uh, things in your car. And today, that will the thing that I'm doing is cooling fans. So basically, uh, up here I have these three relays: the main fuel pump and ignition relays, and I'm adding a fourth one to the left side for the fans. And obviously, it's not installed yet. And this is just temporary to uh, just make sure it works before I, you know, solder everything up. But essentially, the idea is uh, you uh, use Tuner Studio to specify what you want it to do at a certain point. There's different variables you can choose from. And then it will uh, activate a relay. And that relay will then either pass current or you know, turn off current if, if you configure it that way. But the bottom line is, uh, it's basically just like on-off stuff. So they're called, actually, in Megasquirt, in the software, it's called programmable on-off outputs. So in my case, what I wanted to do was control the cooling fans because, uh, well, the, the fan switch in my car goes out, it seems like almost, I don't know, every four to six months, and uh, it's the Wilder brand, so it's the OEM brand, and I keep on buying them from a certain online storefront that specializes in German cars and they replaced it under warranty but it's really annoying because you know uh, one day I'll wake up to a dead battery because that fan switch failed and so what I've been doing was running it off of the manual switch <clears throat> just because I was just so fed up with the, the fan switches failing so I just went to AutoZone or whatever and just got a switch really it was just meant to be temporary for a couple of weeks and I put silicone on it to waterproof it. This went under the hood, and then this went down, and this is really embarrassing, but it was just a little bit of quick steel to keep them separated. And this would clip onto the harness where it would normally clip onto the fan switch uh, near the radiator. So I decided it was a high time to replace that and get something that was uh, automated, because I'd have to actually walk out to my car after I turned the car off and open the hood and turn off the fans, otherwise it would drain the battery. So. This pink flower stuff is all over the car because of the types of trees we have around here. So under the hood, the wiring, I uh, have this black twisted pair. I haven't, you know, fully built it into the harness yet, but this black twisted pair comes out and goes to this uh, connector. And this connector then goes to the main, uh, the harness where normally it would plug into the thermofan switch. So all it is is <clears throat> unplug it. Yeah, that just goes in. I soldered it into the main uh, harness of the car, and to do that, I had to cut off these, which were in poor shape to begin with. These were the stock spade connectors that would clip onto the fan switch. So I thought this would be a good time to, uh, you know, not only incorporate, you know, an automated relay, but since I have this in place of that, uh, those two spade clips, what I did is, in addition to having this, I made a second, uh, I guess this is a male connector, that has new spade clips on it. So if I want to clip this onto here, I can plug it back into the fan switch and have a fan switch installed. Or I can take this off and plug it into here, and the uh, you know the relay controlled by Mega Squirt will take over the cooling fan. So that's what I'm going to do. Plug that back in. All right. So. That has a little connect or a little thing on the bottom to keep it in place. So uh, following these back into the cabin, these are what connects to a relay. Because if you think about it, all the thermofan switches, which lives down there, is pretty much a switch. Um, at a certain temperature, the mechanism, thermostatic, whatever it is, uh, closes the circuit or completes the circuit, if you will. And that's what that's what a uh, basically that switch was doing when I had that in place as well. So. All we're doing is replacing a thermofan switch with a relay in the uh, in the cabin. So, so going back over here, recall that black twisted pair. It comes in and connects to the load side of the relay. I say load side. I mean the the two pins that aren't responsible for activating the relay. I'm not really sure what the official. Uh, nomenclature is for that kind of thing. But anyway, and then on the other side of the relay, the two pins that do activate it, one of them goes to F idle, 
F idle is this green wire back here, and I'll go into that in a second. And that goes to one pin. And this is just, you know, like I said, just to make sure that it works before I solder and everything heat shrink. And so, and that provides a ground. And so the 12 volts comes from, uh, well, just 12 volts basically. It doesn't matter because Mega Squirt chooses when to ground it. So I just put it on my fuse panel just to make sure that it works. But what I'm going to do is incorporate it into the fuel pump power uh, to the fuel pump so that the fans will not compete with the starter for during cranking. So for current from the battery. So that really will only matter during cold cranking. Um, so whatever. I, anyway, so I want to talk about the software now. So this is, uh, let me close out of this just so I can show you where to get to it from. In Tuner Studio, in my version anyway, uh, you go to programmable on off outputs under boost slash advanced. And these are the wires that are kind of like extra wires. So F idle, which is for a fast idle valve. And since I'm not using that, it's available as a spare. There's tack out, which I actually am already using that to drive my tack. So it's not even an option. And L A L E D W L E D. These are, um, these can drive LEDs to let you know that, you know, the car's accelerating or that the car is warming up, but you can also use them for other stuff. So you don't have to use them for that. So I used F-Idle, that's why I, I, I had that F-Idle wire over there. And you check Enabled, and then it, by default it's going to be off, but when it's active it'll go on. Now, if I wanted to say control like an idle valve, I could do on-off, so that it would turn off at a certain point. So, uh, the conditions, this is where, um, you know, it actually like, is pretty cool, because you can choose, like, and under what conditions do I want to open that relay? You know, there is everything, you know, uh, air fuel ratios, different loads, blah, blah, blah. Like you get the idea, certain um, points in the throttle position, but yeah, barometric. So anyway, obviously I'm doing cooling temperature cause we're talking about the cooling fans and you can choose, you know, Boolean operators or whatever, logic gates, whatever. Uh, threshold, uh, this isn't Fahrenheit. Uh, just that's just what I'm using and I set it at 160 so right now the car is about 140 so I'm actually going to turn the car on and let the cooling fans come on so and then you can do like or you know ands and you know if you want to do like coolant and a certain like uh, you know time after powered on or powered off or something you could probably do that too so I'm going to go ahead and cut on the car And we're just going to watch the coolant temperature rise. And then at about 150, I'm going to get under the hood and we'll see uh, if they come on. So, so far, I've tested this once and it, and it did work that time. So this will be test number two just for uh, make sure that it's consistent. All right, so we're rising pretty quickly, so I'm going to get under the hood. So 150 should be in the next couple of seconds. Oh, I, sorry, I said it at 160, not 150. I lied. <laughs> I forgot, I had it at 150 and then I went back and changed it to 160 because that's a more reasonable value. So at 160, it's about 155. At 160, the fan should kick on. So. Couple more seconds. Voila. So that's uh, how that works. It's a pretty reasonable value, I think, to have the fans come on at. And uh, that's a wrap. I'm uh, really glad that this provides a solution. I think there are there are two parts to this. Um, if your car already has a thermo switch, like the fan switch and the radiator is what I'm referring to, that already works well and it hasn't really gotten out on you. Like I got, I got burned pretty badly by the amount of failures I was having so close together. 
So that's kind of what drove me to do this. But if yours is fine, you're you're probably just better off leaving the uh, stock fan switch in. But um, even if yours is fine, doing this gives you the functionality of like, look, I can go in here and like, let's say I want to lower the temperature or raise the temperature at which the fans come on. It's just a matter of changing that value there under threshold. So you can kind of have, uh, you know, control of the cooling fan in addition to what you already have control of through Tuner Studio. So I think it's pretty nice. And the uh, thing is, when you uh, turn the car off, obviously the, the computer goes off and uh, so do your cooling fans. So in the stock configuration, the fans would stay on for, uh, you know, a while after the car went off, but... Um, you, I guess you just lose that functionality, but it's it's kind of okay. Like, if you think about it, all the fans are really doing uh, when the car is off and the water pump isn't spinning is just cooling the coolant that's in the radiator. So I don't think it's really a big deal that um, it just goes off. So anyway, so I'm going to spend the next uh, hour or so just obviously, you know, installing this relay alongside the other ones and soldering, get, getting rid of the jumpers and just getting it put together, but I want to just um, share that. And you can do that with anything. Uh, I guess if you're like running nitrous at a certain point in the map or a certain TPS condition, you could have it, you know, shoot nitrous. I won't be doing that personally, but I think it's pretty cool that you could. There's other on-off outputs you could do. Uh, I don't know, maybe certain, I, I don't know. You could probably think of some, but there's pretty much, the possibilities are, are uh, almost endless as long as you can control that thing with a relay, so.